I'm Danika and today we've got a counting story with some Australian animals in it. I wonder if you know what this animal is. He looks very relaxed. He's a wombat. So the sign for wombat is by taking your three fingers and moving them like you're moving your claws forward. One woolly wombat. Now I'm using the sign for woolly like this. You might see this done for wool or woolly, referring to an animal's coat or the material that you make your jumper from, woolly. And we're gonna do some counting in this story too. So remember when we're counting using Auslan signs, we're going to turn the back of our hand outwards. So we're gonna start with one and see what number or number we get up to. One woolly wombat. Hmm, what's he doing? Relaxing or sunning? He's laying in the sunshine. One woolly wombat sunning by the sea. We've got the next Australian animal and there's two koalas. So put your claws into your arms like you're giving yourself a little hug. Two cuddly koalas sipping gum nut tea. I wonder what gum nut tea tastes like. After number two, we've got number three. Three warbling magpies. They're like a black and white bird, aren't they? We're gonna sign bird. Three warbling magpies waking up the sun. I wonder if you know what that word means, warbling. So it's when a bird sings nice and softly in a succession of changing notes. So you might hear magpies doing this. Kookaburras like to make a lovely warbling noise too. It's a nice word, isn't it? Warbling. We've got some kangaroos now. Four thumping kangaroos dancing just for fun. They look like they're having a great party. Five pesky platypus splashing with their feet. So you might like to point to your feet or you could point to their feet that are doing the splashing. We're up to number six. So take your five hand shape, turn it on its side, make a good sign and bend your thumb. This can be a bit tricky, so just try your best. Six cheeky possums looking for a treat or a snack. Seven, emus. Now the sign for emu, you might do it with two fingers in and out or your full hand in and out. This is the variation I'm going to use with my full hand. Seven, emus running in and out of the bush. They're running because they're playing football, kicking the football. And we would sign run like this, but because emus don't have hands like this, Maybe your emu can run like this or move forward. We've got some echidnas this time and they're 
they're eating some ants. You might like to do bug or beetle, or you might like to spell ant. I eat spiky echidnas eating ants. Whoosh! We're up to number nine, and these are goannas, or a type of Australian lizard. Nine hungry or hungry goannas wondering what to cook. Looking in their recipe book. And we're up to number 10. So take your middle finger and flick it out. You'll also see this done with all fingers. 10. 10 giggly kookaburras writing riddle books. We're up to 11 and we've got some dingoes. That's a type of wild Australian dog. Now there's two variations for that sign. You might see it done like dingo, like snout, or you might see it done with a D into dog. D for dingo and then dog. I'm gonna use this one today. It's just a variation. And they're twirling with their paws. So you might say spinning, but their bodies aren't actually spinning. What's spinning is a yo-yo. So I might spell that word. But if you've got young children that are signing along, they might like to spin like this. 11 dizzy dingoes twirling with their paws or twirling their yo-yos. Next, we have some cockatoos. So you'll see the sign for cockatoo done either like this. This is like the crest up the top of their head. You'll either see it done moving from back to front or front to back. I'm going to use this variation of moving it forward. 12 crazy cockatoos counting on their claws. I wonder how many beads on the abacus. We're up to 13, so give your three fingers. Now turn them on the side and wiggle them. So I didn't mention it before, but when we get to 11, we're gonna take our number one, turn it on its side and wiggle it. 12, 13, 14, and so on, all the way to 20 or 20. All right, we've got 13 hopping mice, picking desert pea, picking some flowers. Flowers. And we're up to number 14 now, and we've got some seals. 14 slick seals sailing out to sea. So you might like to do boat because they're on a boat, or you might like to do like a sailing boat. And that's the end of our story. So let's see if we can remember all of those numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So we've counted from one through to 14 today. During our story, one woolly wombat. Thanks for joining us for Story of the Week and we look forward to signing with you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.